There are five different points to auscultate to learn all kinds of heart sounds. Let's learn these all, one by one. We are gonna use this animated ribcage to learn. Don't forget my hand with the stethoscope. Okay, chill. The first auscultation point is at the axis of the heart. The stethoscope should be placed at the junction of the midclavicular line and the fifth intercostal space. The space between fifth and sixth rib. This auscultation point is best for hearing the mitral valve closure and murmurs like mitral stenosis and the sound of mitral valve prolapse. Let's hear these sounds closely. Mitral stenosis. Mitral valve prolapse. Let's move on to the second auscultation point. For the second auscultation point, the stethoscope should be placed at the fourth intercostal space and the left border of the sternum. This auscultation point is best to hear the tricuspid valve and the murmur-like tricuspid regurgitation. Now, let's hear the tricuspid regurgitation. The third one is for the pulmonary valve. And for this auscultation point, the stethoscope should be placed at the second intercostal space and the left border of the sternum. This auscultation point is best to hear the pulmonary valve and the murmur-like pulmonary stenosis. Let's see how pulmonary stenosis sounds. Now, let's hear the aortic valve with the fourth auscultation point. For the fourth auscultation point, the stethoscope should be placed at the second intercostal space and the right border of the sternum. This auscultation point is best to hear the aortic valve and the murmur-like aortic stenosis. Let's hear the aortic stenosis loud and clear. Now, we will see the fifth and the last auscultation point. For this auscultation point, the stethoscope should be placed at the third intercostal space and the right border of the sternum. This auscultation point is known as the herbs point, and it is best to hear the normal S1 S2 sound and the abnormal heart sounds such as S3 and atrial septal defect. Let's hear these heart sounds. Normal S1 S2. S3 Atrial septal defect